everybody, my name is Marilee. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with an empties video. I've used a few products and I just wanna tell you my thoughts. I've always felt that empties videos are probably the best beauty videos to watch because it tells you what are people like me who love makeup, what are we actually going through? And it also gives us an opportunity to really know a product. Like when you see a first impression, it's like, oh, it looks great this day. But then I went outside and I looked insane or I actually looked in the rear view mirror of the car. Wow, is that truth telling? So empties, I think, really give us a chance to, to determine, do we love the product? Are we repurchasing it? And it gives us a better idea if we should recommend it. So if you like that idea, please keep watching. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. So let's start with the product that isn't so makeup related, but still beauty related. And it is the Tahitian Vanilla Bean Moisturizing Shave Lotion from Tree Hut Bear. I get this from Amazon. I absolutely love it. There's different scents. There's a coconut one that's very good. And then I have enjoyed the Vanilla Bean one. This is a shave oil. When I was younger, I remember hearing that you should shave with baby oil because it provides like the smoothest surface. And I really like doing that, but wow, was it dangerous in the tub after. Like you would be slipping and sliding not so safe for these old bones now. And so this I like more, it's a little bit thicker, it's not as slippy as baby oil, but it does an excellent job. I don't feel like my shower is a big mess when I finish. Um, I've gone through several bottles of this. I have it on subscribe and save, I believe. I get it every month and I love it. So this highly, highly recommend. And it's going in the garbage now. Or the recycling bin. I can recycle that actually. All right, so now to some more makeup y products. So I just went through my Josie Marin Daily Moisturizing SPF 47. This is my number one SPF. It's the one I use almost every day. I have a few others that I like and sometimes I rotate them in, but this I absolutely love. This bottle lasted me almost a year. Um, yeah, I would say almost a year. I love it. I use this on my children. I use this on me. I use this when we're down in Wildman, New Jersey on our beach um, week and my skin is never burned and I'm in the sun the entire day. I do reapply uh, if we're there for you know more than four or five hours. Um, and I find the same thing with my kids. They, their faces don't burn. Um, I use this every day. It is very moisturizing. If you have very oily skin, I think there's some other ones that would work well, but oil, there's oil in this, there's argon oil in this, and I do think that helps calm some of your oil production. So I highly recommend this. I absolutely love it. I don't like the tinted version. There is one. I don't appreciate that one as much. I just think this one's perfect. I have another one and I will always keep this. Love it. Another product that I use is the Proteiny Polypeptide Cream from Drunk Elephant. This one you never know when you're going to be done. And then just all of a sudden it stops squeezing out. So number one, I do love the packaging. You press this down and product comes out. There's this one little bit left. I will rub that on my hand. This is a wonderful cream and I love this, especially in the spring and summer. So it's very lightweight. It is a moisturizer. I use this at night because I use this in the morning. So I use this at night and I find this to be like my daily um, face lotion when I'm after I've cleansed my skin in the evening. I in the winter I use the Lala Retro Cream because it's a bit thicker and a bit more more moisturizing. But this is fabulous. I know that there are other creams and I have several of them that I promised myself I would go through before I bought this again. But this I love. I just I love it. I love the formula and I do love the packaging. So I will miss this as I go through some of my other ones, but did love it. Then I'm going out to buy this today. This is the e.l.f. Oil Control Primer Mist. I think my CVS sells it, I hope. If not, I'm gonna have to drive to Ulta. But I love this product. So what you hear is a little ball at the bottom that helps mix up the product. This is my, like my number one primer. I spray this, the sprayer sucks. Like, I don't know how else to say that, but you feel like you're getting smacked in the face with this primer. So that's horrendous. And I'm hoping in a new bottle, maybe it will be great. I don't know, but I love the product. So I put this on 
Sometimes I use a pore filling uh, primer, but I will put this on, especially when I'm using my Saint Beauty um, cream products, um, but then also in the summer or in the spring when I know it's going to be a hot and humid day. I love this. I think it does an excellent job with um, making sure that my combo skin oils don't like seep through all my makeup. And it also, I think, helps the longevity. So I absolutely love this. It's really inexpensive and it's fabulous. And I like the little ball inside. Makes me feel like I'm putting nail polish on my face. Who doesn't want that? Okay, the last two products, the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Brow Wiz. So I got this not that long ago. So I would say that this lasts about two, maybe two and a half months, maybe three. Um, I use this every day since I got it. Every single one of my other pencils, I am realizing is the fatter pencil and Although it makes it fast to put on, I feel like it's pretty uncontrollable. I don't have big brows, like I fill a lot of it in. And I like the precision that this, um, what is this called? That <laughs> this eye pencil gives me because of the very small tip. Now, do, do are there other small tip um, brow whizzy products? Yes, there are. I just have had a hard time with the color to be honest. So the shade that I have is medium brown. I haven't found another one that is um, great in shade, but I do think I have an LA Girl one somewhere that people said was a great dupe. So I need to find that because I haven't been able to find it. And I really, what I what I love the most about this is the small, the small crayon pencil, the small pencil that it is. So I definitely need to go and get something else. It doesn't have to necessarily be this, but I do love the shade. It also has the best spoolie in the business. So yeah, was said that this finished. And then the last thing I used up is the Big Papa. You can hardly tell, but the Big Papa mascara from Wet n Wild. I just finished this today. It is the mascara I'm using on my top lashes. I have loved this mascara. It does. It never, not once, has run under my eye. Not once. It has not transferred above. And those are major things for me, especially as things get more hot and humid. I have worn this running. Uh, yeah, I'm realizing now. I didn't take off my makeup both times I went running. And it never transferred. I've worn this to windy and hot soccer games. It's never transferred. So I highly, highly recommend this. This is fabulous. It costs less than $5 and it's great. Um, I think it's quite voluminizing and also lengthening. So I'm a big fan. So there you go. Those are the products that I used up recently. Um, I would repurchase all of them. Highly recommend. I hope everyone has a great day and hope your spring is going well. Talk to you soon. Bye.